hello my people welcome welcome back to the news channel and this is afri's concept tv where you get the latest and the oldest news this is a news channel that keeps you updated on everything going on in the country if you are yet to subscribe to this channel make sure to do that now and if you are a new subscriber we say welcome to afri's concept tv sit back and relax because you are going to be getting everything that you are going to need to be updated on the happenings in the country and even outside the country and also if you are a returning subscriber i say welcome back to afri's concept tv and i'm sure you are you keep coming back because you get value from this channel let's go right to the headlines for today president tinubu taxed to investigate Dangote's weighty allegations against international oil companies in Nigeria. And my people here, yeah, so this is the headlines for today. As we've seen that Dan, um, President Bola Hamed Tinubu has been taxed to investigate Dangote's allegations against international oil companies. Apparently, Dangote has, way, has given an, has weighed an allegation against international oil companies that have residing in Nigeria, and now President Tinubu has been taxed to actually find out if these allegations are accurate or not. Let's listen to the news in full. The recent development concerning the serious and weighty allegation raised against international oil companies, IOCs, operating in Nigeria by Ali Kodangote, Africa's richest man and the founder of the Dangote Refinery. Through the Vice President Dava Kruma Edwin, which claimed that the IOCs are sabotaging, are sabotaging the good efforts of his refinery, calls for full-scale investigation. We make this clarion call because the Dangote refinery is a crucial industry for the survival of our, of our national economy. Dangote in that piece, which is already in the public space, claimed that these IOCs are engaged in a deliberate conspiracy to undermine the operations and survival of the Dangote's refinery. And yes, this is a serious allegation because, of course, these international oil companies know that if Dangote refinery starts to run well and actually run effectively, over time they could actually like completely eradicate them from Nigeria because Dangote's, own, Dangote's refinery will actually improve the economy of the state and reduce the cost of fuel prices, thereby reducing the cost of transportation in the state. But for these international oil companies, they have to export, import, and that is more expenses for Nigerians. And this is a way that even in the budget of the committee, we can remove partially or completely the cost of exporting fuel to the, to the state. And so this is a really weighty, weighty allegation that Dangote has put out against these um, people because he believes that they are, they are against the running of his refinery and they know that they can experience a huge loss because they've been making so much from Nigerians. And it's high time that Nigerians take back what belongs to them. And yes, my people, that is the news for today. Make sure to like the video, comment, let us know what you think about this news. Let us know your your mind regarding this news that you've just listened to because we are very interested in your feedback. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you every time that we post up a new content. Look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.